I heard that you can press select to look at the island map, but I don't understand what they, they mean by that. Uh, let's try it out. There you go. That's the island map so far. We have a whole bunch of question marks and a whole bunch of uh, blank spaces, but uh, we, we know a couple things. When you're running out of hearts, you'd better enter a house or cave. Why? I have no idea. I'm just a kid. <laughs> All right, so here's the library. Fun with bombs. Read this book? Sure. After you put a bomb down, you can pick it up by pressing the button again. You can then throw it by pushing the button one more time. Did you know that? I did. Uh, so in this game, they don't really tell you which button because as you can tell uh, by the bottom of the screen, I can assign uh, both buttons uh, to do something. So I don't really have anything for B just yet, but uh, it's there. There's also eight things that I'm going to need to get apparently. The properties of warp holes. Read this book? Of course. There are some warp holes on Koholint Island. You can warp to and fro to and fro using these holes. If you jump into the warp hole at which you arrived, you will go to the next one in the sequence. You can only warp to a hole you have seen with your own eyes. So you can't go to new areas, but it will cut on travel time. Atlas of Koholint Island. You can move the cursor and look up the name of a place. Do you want to look at this map? Uh, look. Let's look at the map. All right, so there's uh, lots of places around here. We can like find shops and question mark stuff. Um, more shops and question mark stuff. It looks very important though. It's kind of a small map. It is a uh, Game Boy game after all. Some say the best Game Boy game uh, on, well, the whole Game Boy. Best Game Boy game of all time if you're just counting the original Game Boy. Uh, they're not giving me too much information here though, are they? I think I have to have actually seen it. They'll show me shops, but other than that, they're, they're not showing me too much. So I think we are uh, done here. Crazy Tracy's health spa. <laughs> Can I look up any of the, uh, the question marks? Dream shrine. All right, well, quadruplets house. Yeah, there's so many of them. All right, let's get out of here. We'll go exploring it for real instead of just looking at it on a map. Dark secrets and mysteries of Koholint. Do you really want to read it? What's that supposed to mean? Yes. yes. What's this? You can't read the tiny print without the aid of a magnifying glass. That's not cool. All right, well, we'll have to get a magnifying glass then, or we'll just never read it. How to handle your shield like a pro. Read this book? Yes. If you hold the button down, you can defend yourself from enemy attacks, and you can flip some enemies too. Besides the standard shield, there is also a mirrored variety which can defend against beams. So it's a little different this time. I have to like hold the shield and then just kind of move around. Otherwise, I just kind of put my shield away. It's kind of hanging off the side. So notice that I'm uh, left-handed no matter what this time, which is nice. They, they didn't have that sorted out before. <laughs> Secrets of the Whirling Blade. Read this book? Yes. The whirling blade technique has been handed down from generation to generation by the family of the hero. To use it, hold down the sword button and build up your power. When you have enough, you can release the button. Can you master this? Probably. Auto map and memo guide book. Read this book. You can see an island map by pressing the select button. The dark parts of the map are places you have not yet visited. Move the cursor and press the A button to get more information about an area or to replay the message you got there. Ah, how, conv ah, how convenient. I always thought that multiple H's meant ah, not ah, but what do I know? Selecting the item that's right for you. Read this book, sure. You can select your favorite item for the A and B buttons on the subscreen. Using different items, you can fight without a sword. Try many different things to find what's right for you. All right, then there's this one up here, uh, but this is not a chest. What? You knew that? Okay, but I can't, I can't like get there. I can't read the book. It's, it's above my level, I guess. All right, let's see here. Tail Cove, Toronbo Shores. We're headed for the shore, so we'll just uh, hop down here. Just uh, holding the, the shield button, because I can't really deal with enemies right now. 
All right, eventually though, we will make it to the shore. We wanna head to the right here. All right, try to be a little careful, just holding the shield button. That is what I want. Just push you. And eventually. Hoot hoot. So you are the lad who owns the sword. Now I understand why the monsters are starting to act so violently. A courageous lad has come to wake the windfish. It is said that you cannot leave the island unless you wake the windfish. You should now go north to the mysterious forest. I will wait for you there. Hoot. And then we get a, a very nice owl. But more importantly, you found your sword. It must be yours because it has your name engraved on it. <laughs> I didn't do that. The game did that. I forgot they did that. All right. Now we can really start picking things up. I have my sword. Now I can like do things and kill things like that. Man, they die quick. Can I kill you guys too? I sure can, but I hurt myself doing it. All right, fair enough. Let's head over here. And get a heart back and some rupees. We'll kind of go exploring a little bit around here. Can I hit you guys? Can, do you hurt all the time? No, so I was just too close to you before. Okay. Beware of sea urchins. Don't touch them with your bare hands. I tried not to, but it happens. And now I can do some uh, some gardening, which is everybody's favorite in, in Legend of Zelda games, isn't it? I'm gonna try to explore around a bit. Why not? Even though I have a spot that I need to go to. All right, what do we have in here? Oh, hello there. Welcome to Sale's House of Bananas. I'm Sale, this is my house. Actually, my hobby is collecting rare and unusual canned food. My brother is an artist, so I guess strange hobbies run in the family. Wow, this looks pretty heavy. You won't be able to lift it with, your bare, with just your bare hands. Can I destroy these? No, I didn't think so. And then, uh, can I go in here? Yeah, Link can actually walk around in water. Unlike Mario, let's head over to the left. Mario can swim, but he can't walk in water. <laughs> Completely different uh, skill set there. I was about to say there should be some stuff inside of the uh, inside of the bushes there. And I got my first guardian acorn. You've got a guardian acorn. It will reduce the damage you take by half. Now this shows up after you kill, I believe, twelve enemies. Um, let's try to show it off, I guess. Um, I'm not going to try to map those out. Uh, some people like doing that, trying to map out that you get, uh, the certain power-up items at a certain point, uh, in your playthrough. I'm not going to try to do that. When they spawn, they spawn. Don't necessarily want to map out my entire, um... My entire playthrough based on when certain drops happen. Uh, because they're only temporary items. They only last for a little bit. I honestly don't want to take damage, so... I'm trying to avoid, uh, necessarily requiring that I, I get a, uh... A Guardian Acorn dropped every once in a while. There's another item that'll drop as well. It's, uh, a little bit better for you. I, at least I think so, unless you're struggling and, and taking a lot of damage. But early on, uh, Guardian Acorns, not necessarily the most useful thing for me. And as soon as you leave the dungeon, the Guardian Acorn uh, wears off. So, I wasted some of it, I guess. <laughs> Alright, what do we got in here? Doesn't look like I can do anything with that. But, I bet, based on playing previous games... I can hop right on down. And here, I can get a piece of heart. Press select on the subscreen to see. All right, so we can press, oh, right, on the subscreen. So start, and then select, and then you can see I'm wearing the green stuff. I have one out of four um, 
heart pieces of heart, and then I have zero out of 12 of uh, gray boxes. It hasn't been filled in yet. All right, but that is done. Let's kind of go around and, and explore using my new sword. Because now I can actually deal with some of this stuff. A lot of this not necessarily going to be super helpful for me, but I can access this new shop. Let's go ahead and do all of the gardening required. And, well, all the gardening available, if we're being honest. Ooh. Hey, it's Yoshi in the middle. But we have a good conveyor belt going. This is the trendy game. One uh, play is 10 rupees. Uh, we're not going to play right now. Uh, I've never been particularly good at this one, but um, I, I will get better at it through a couple practice rounds. Uh, but I don't need anything right now, so I'm going to leave it alone. Uh, we'll come back for the trendy game later. Uh, Yoshi is there. Just straight up Yoshi is there. Uh, we will play the trendy game at some point. But for now, gardening is what is in style. And I found a secret seashell. If you collect a lot of these, something good is bound to happen. <laughs> is that what they were pointing at me at there? No. So I just have one uh, seashell on the subscreen there. Sometimes you just got to take cues from the game. And sometimes it'll, it'll pan out for you. All right. So with the sword, I can do at least a little bit of work. I, I can explore around a little bit. Uh, do I dare? I do. How many does it take? I think it's 30. Let's do this early. Kill the cuckoo. Kill the chicken. There we go. All right, I need to go. Okay. So... If you hit them enough, uh, chickens will fly at you from all all sides of the screen. Uh, the easiest way is to do it near a corner if you're trying to do it like I was just to show it off. Uh, but yeah, they, they hurt you. They are one of your deadliest enemies in this game. 